Father to many nations. He created this place, as Jessica said one time, he laid a foundation for us, for most of us, for those who are here today and for those who have left. We thank you so much for the opportunity. You didn't choose only from your family or from South Africa, but you've gone all out, all over Africa, I would say from Cape to Cairo. I say thank you because you allowed God to use you to build such a big uh, organization. My birthday message to you is that you grow stronger because as you grow old, you, you gain more wisdom, you gain more knowledge. It's a prayer to you. I decree and declare blessings of God upon you and upon your family. I decree and declare more life. I decree and declare that whatever decision you make from today going forth will be decisions that can impact in our lives. When we take after you, Mr. Chairman, you've done a great job. I don't know if there's anyone who's going to be able to fill in your shoes, but we all wish. And may we, may we get something from you, and may we get that zeal that you had when you started the kind of achieves. You had a vision. May we take from your vision for you for everything you've done for us now, and we do more for the generations to come. Not only for our family, but for many generations to come. May we not only stop the I 
shout out. No, after the game, I always struggle with the game with with, with, with uh, my voice. But having said that, I take this opportunity to greet you all. And uh, on behalf of marketing department, uh, representing men and women who obviously carry their duties to try as much as possible to espouse the values and principles that the chairman has laid down for us for many years. And um, I've got a, a point because I'm poetic and uh, as always, Jessica, we do that. <laughs> Patient and steady with all he must bear. Ready to meet every challenge with care. Easy in manner, but solid as steel. Strong in his faith, refreshing, real, isn't afraid to propose what is bold. Doesn't conform to the usual mold. Eyes that have foresight, for high sign all the do. Never backs down when he sees what is true. Tells it all straight and means it all true. Going forward and knowing his right, even when doubted for why he would fight. Over and over he makes his case clear, reaching to touch the ones who won't care. Drawing his strength, he won't be unnerved. Ever assuring he'll stand by his weight, wanting the world to drain his firm stand, praising for war, but praying for peace. Using his power, so evil will cease. So much a leader and worthy of trust. Yes, stands the man who will do what he must. Thank you, Chairman. And uh, as mentioned, this is on behalf of the marketing team. Uh, Jessica, Tracy, Kemiso, Jabulani, uh, Bernice, Emmanuel, everybody is here, including IKC, and uh, others that I didn't mention, including Norma, who's crisscrossing <laughs> between services. And uh, that's our um, leadership use office in the house as well. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday, Chairman. And God come with our work.
spirit is coming your way uh, simply because of the person you are and what you have done for all of us here in this room. So we wish you uh, many more years to come and uh, stay blessed and healthy uh, because we know without you uh, we might find it difficult. So we want to thank God for keeping us for you and uh, the blessings that is given to you and there's more blessings of God in your life. So thank you so much. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, Dr. Kaiser Mutong, wish you like to wish you a happy birthday. May the Almighty bless you with a long, healthy, prosperous life, and accept all your prayers, your wishes, and our wishes as well for you. That, you know that you've been the father, like it says here, our father, our leader. And what I've learned from you can never be taken away. There's been good times with you and a bit of bad times as well. But we've always had a very healthy relationship. Just to remind you, uh, we're still holding all you as a top Arsenal. It's never too late to change. It hasn't changed. But I hope that after then, that all the other guys can give us pro uh, fulfill their promises, what they've told us, what they're going to do for us. And I wish you well, sir. And I hope to see you here for the many, many more years. Thanks a lot. Remember, Father passed on in 1976, so he had two years. 
And also, I see two things. Uh, you represent the system, because you share a bad day the system. Uh, I'm grateful that the, when I joined the institution, I was young. As I grew up, I saw the vision that you presented. Happy birthday, Mr. Tawun. that the, the organizers of this event decided to ensure that uh, my late sister, the one who was older than me, uh, was two years older than me, we happened to share the same birthday on the same day, 16th of October. I don't know how it happened, but uh, my parents probably did, did not plan it that way themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Unless maybe they had a very good time. <laughs> to say, when will we'll be the next one? And make sure it's the same day. <laughs> but I must say, thank you very much. I feel very much tired. And I think this credit, all the good things you said about me, I must also <clears throat> say that uh, I thank all the founding fathers who were with us when we started, and those who are still around, and all the players that came and left. And it's not about me. I was only part of that, 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 that strategy, and I was part of that team that took place. So I happen to be very happy, I mean very lucky that uh, God decided to preserve me to be still around today. So I thank God for that. But also, I'd like to say to you guys, <coughs> despite what happened on Saturday, every game you play, you must know that uh, there's always a lesson that you must always pick up. In every game, whether we've won the game, we've lost the game, football has taught me so many things. And one of them is that uh, whenever you play a game, you must always think about that game and where you come from. 
and the way, what, what experience we had in that game. That's how you become a better player. And I, I say to you, don't get despondent, because nothing is guaranteed in a sporting game, especially in a game of football. But all you need to do, my advice to you is that you must always make sure when you get into that field of play, whether it's training, or it's a practice match, or it's a friendly match, your attitude must be the same. You must always be a change maker, you must always be a winner. You must always think to be a winner. And the only way you can succeed is if you believe that you are a winner. Because that gives you strength. Because psychologically, the game is one up here. Whatever you execute on the field will depend on your mind of, uh, your mind of frame, your frame of mind. So whatever you do, even when you are going to training now, you must always think. I was very fortunate of the coaches that I went through when I was still young star, when I was still playing. I learned a lot. But one thing that always stuck to my mind was one coach who instilled in me the belief that every, everything that I do on the field starts here. If it's not here, you can't be strong on the field of play. And that is why when you play a game, it's like chess. The chess players want to touch this thing. Already he's deciding the move that is going to counter that. So it's just like football is like that. If, you, if, your, if your mind is right, if you are tuned, you will always think ahead of, 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 of your opening because you are tuned and everything starts here. When you miss a goal, when you chase it there, you realize that it started just before I, I, I got to the ball, I hadn't made up my mind. So I was just forced to hit the ball. So it tells you that everything should start here. I used to have a coach there who used to always when we, when, we, when, we, when we play, he always emphasize, he says you must think, don't do something because it, it happened accidentally. But sometimes he does, but what makes you a better player than the, the, the other players is that you think before. I played against one of the greatest players in the world. In fact, the greatest player during our, our, my lifetime is Pelé in America. That man, his eyes were like everywhere, it's just like the late Ace and You would think his eyes are all over here, because when he goes to the ball, before he even touches the ball, he already knows where the opponent is, because he thought before he went to the ball. So that is what I'm trying to in, in tell you, that everything starts here. So when he ever does a move, He's already seen that the defender is here and that I'm going to dummy him or I'm going to do this. He doesn't get shocked or get, you know, collide with the ball. Before it gets to him, he's already thought what he's going to do. And that's a player that I used to worship because the way he played, he was always tightly marked everywhere. But his vision was unbelievable. Just a leg, some of you were lucky to see Asim Solemu. Asim Solemu had the same kind of, of vision. And he knew where he is on the field of play every time. When you sit down and analyze your own game, you will realize some of these mistakes happened because you did not I understand that other players must help you to and tell men behind or something. But sometimes when you commit a mistake, it's because you did not know where, the, where you are. I could be coming into the, into, in, into the box to come and defend a free kick or a, a, a set piece or 
corner kick, whatever the case might be. But if I'm going there, I have a role to play. You have to understand what role you're going to play. But you are going to add numbers and stand there and the ball comes. Somebody comes and hits the ball in front of you to the goal. Why are you there for? These are some of the things I'm trying to... I'm sorry, coach, I don't know how to coach. I'm trying to share my experiences. It's a beautiful game. It's a beautiful game. We all love the game there. And we know what it does to us. Uh, so you have to be jealous about this game. You have to be jealous for you to be able to protect whatever you do. So gentlemen, the message I want to give you now is that despite what happened on Saturday, we are not going to win all the games. I'm saying to you, I'm still full of confidence. I still, I still believe in all of you that uh, this journey of this league now will see the better as we, as, as we go along. I still have confidence in you, despite what has happened for us so far. Mm -hmm. We stand here today to be on top of the Lord. Yes. If we had just got one, one night game. And you know what? When we get to the top, it's not, it's not easy to stay there, but it's also gives an advantage for those who come to you, come from a, a position of, uh, of weakness. Right? So, anyway, good luck uh, as we go forward. And thank you for the kind of sentiments that were expressed here today. I just discovered something that uh, we've discovered some new tunnels today. I would be surprised if one day normal becomes a preacher. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much for, for this kind gesture. Uh, I will keep on, keep on pushing you from behind. Thank you. Thank you.